Where's Hi, Richie? I'm Mark Duffy, and welcome to my channel. Sorry there, lads. Sorry there. Just want to have an interview with you right here, if that's okay with you. So we've got Richie Hogan. And we've got Mark Cowan. Yeah. It's not really looking the way we wanted it though, is it? Like it's so clarity. Honestly, lads, how does someone carry a camera like this here? Like, oh, lovely. I have a handle for it, but it's just, uh, it's awkward. I'd rather just hold it like this here, but uh, just with everything I'm carrying, like I've got two tripods and everything on me. Oh, I'll try my trick. Hold on, I've got a trick for this one. Let's try this, let's try this. Uh, now, the lads are after going way on ahead because it's after taking me an age to get this set up. So I've got the tripod rigged up, sitting up against me to kind of steady the shot out because it's the way into the camera. I've got a light on, I've got a microphone on, uh, and because these Sony cameras, I can't see a viewfinder, I have a little mirror on, uh, above as well to show me um, what the screen is like. So you may see my eyes bounce up and down for that. Yeah. Okay, so it's a good bit more clouded than I was hoping for, but we've come down to Bailey Lighthouse to photograph this lighthouse. I haven't been here in about four years. I've walked the whole cliff walk before, but I haven't photographed it since. I have a beautiful, beautiful sunrise from here. Um, but I'd be happy just to get a long exposure right now because um, for me, photography is, is like a collection. It's like being a collector. So I used to coin collect as a kid. Now I collect photographs. So if I can get my collections up, happy days. Time to get set up. Mark, you just don't like concrete at all, do you? I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> <laughs> We've arrived now, there was a no entry sign to the front of that gate, so anyone visiting here, you're at your own risk. If someone tells us to bugger off, we're gonna leave, but I, there's so many photos here. I've shot here before, I've never had an issue like so. I'm gonna head down the road. Richie's got set up right there, he's gonna take his shot. I've shot from here before, but I went down into the road. There's a nice wee uh, S-Bend hairpin that I wanna get because the sun is rising, I reckon about there. So it lines up nicely this time of year. All right, let's check the placement of the sun. So open up into photo pills and we're going to yes. So if we scroll around here, maybe. Is that right? From here, the sun is way on over there, maybe. No, that's not right. That's not right at all. Oh, photo pills are not doing me a good job here at all now. This face is southwest. This doesn't sound, this face is southeast. Oh wow, photo mills is way off. So there, there you go. The sun's kind of rising behind, behind the lighthouse. Right, the light is changing quickly. So while I was shooting a little bit of B-roll, I, I now need to run down and get my shot. Richie's in the back there shooting his photo. He's doing some time lapsing with a, one of those DJI little cameras, little square jobs. Looks pretty cool like so.
So just quickly, I already had this idea. I wanted to get that road in the background behind me. Um, so I just tried a couple of different focal lengths, super wide. Where I'm standing isn't ideal, but I want to get as much water as I can possible. And so I'm going to use the road as a kind of leading line from the bottom right hand corner up into the image to bring your eye to the lighthouse. There's actually a nice highlight appearing in the sky right now from where the sun is going to be rising from, but unfortunately, if it was visible, I'd get it in the photo, but it's not gonna be visible right now. So we're just gonna hope that we get some color in the sky and get some nice, but I do like the blue. There's a nice blue to this, so I'm quite liking that there. So just let me see what my white balance should be. I'm kind of liking cloudy at the minute on it, so I'll just set it to cloudy. I'm gonna go for F16 on this here, and then let's get my base exposure, which is coming at one fifth of a second, perfect for four minute exposure, because 10 stops on a quarter second exposure is four minutes, but I will have to put in a long exposure noise reduction to counteract any hot pixels that may appear. So my four minutes is gonna take eight minutes to shoot, which is really annoying, but it is what it is. Right, okay, so next thing is just to set my focus and get some base shots in here. Turn the focus peaking on. Let's see where we're going. So I'm kind of going to aim for the mountains in the distance. Oh, and here comes the tugboat. That's going to ruin. That's going to ruin the water now for a little while. Odd. Oh, why is he just he's just turning? Okay, that's random. So there's a rock at the bottom left of the scene, it's a little bit distracting, so I've, I've cropped that out of this shot now. Uh, so I've raised it so my composition isn't necessarily going by the rule of thirds. And I might just, oh, I'm full width on the 17 mil, so. Okay, I might actually just zoom in a bit. Might just go into 24 mil, I think I'm gonna go for in this one. I think I might just focus on I'm going to focus past, a little bit past the lighthouse, I think, for this. I'm going to do a test photo anyway. Now, because it's an overcast day, I don't necessarily need the bracket because the dynamic range on Fuji is really good. But I'm going to bracket no matter anyway, so. And I'm just gonna check again in the camera and check my focus. Focus looks good. I've just, I've just noticed I shot at ISO 800, so I'm gonna change that, I'm gonna drop that down. Uh, maybe I will drop it to, I'm gonna drop it to F11, because now I've got at one fifth of a second, 320 ISO, nice and clean ISO. Maybe I get the boat in the shot actually. Nice, one. it looks all right. I'm gonna be using a, a new product that got sent out to me by h and Filters. So this is a polarizer and it actually attaches onto any lens just by twisting on really simply. Just twist and then release. Maybe just twist on and make sure it's, ah, oh, that's, a, that's a good hold. That is a good hold. As always with filters and all, just dust off the front of it. Now, I don't know if I want to polarize this, um, but I'm going, to, I'm going to see anyway. I'm going to do a wee test. It has a nice handle to the side of this that I can just use. And uh, maybe I'll just, ah, you know, let's have a wee, let's have a wee look. Yeah, and if I just change that now. So I had then the bottom there was polarized. So if I turn it at that, at that setting there, it's polarizing the sky just above the lighthouse and not touching the water. So do a test shot for that. That might be better because it's, it's polarizing out there too. Oh no, I like the color. Oh no, I go back the other way. Oh yeah, enhance that, I'm gonna bring it in. So now I brought it low, just covering that whole water, but it's bringing a real strong, extra green to it because it's getting rid of all that extra uh, reflection coming from the sky so the thing is it's brought my exposure down just a touch so we're going to bring my ISO up a little bit more so from 320 up to 500 which is fine 
oh yeah, or oh, that water just down in the bottom is so vibrant now. And then obviously, you know, any of the reflections on the grass is going to be more vibrant. It's the joys of using a uh, um, polarizer. Now, the other thing they sent me was, now they didn't send me this case, I might have got this case myself, because they sent me other, other filters as well, but they want me to test out this one. Now this is a magnetic eight and a half stop filter. So it's not the full 10 stops. So we just have to adjust that in the, uh, in the exposure. So it's quite dusty from being in that little case that I got. But uh, no hassle, just give it a wipe as always. And let's see, so I'm guessing you faced the, the text in, would you? No, oh wow, you can actually feel the magnets. So you ever push a magnet, then you, you know the way you, you go north to south, but if you go north to north, it, it pushes against it. You can actually feel it there, it's resisting. So a good sign at least i know which way it goes just dust that again make sure this is all i'm you'll notice i'm really like a clean freak when it comes, when it comes to this stuff i don't like excess dust or because i'm talking you know there could be a little bit of the owl oh wow that clicks right on you get off oh jesus that's strong <laughs> it does not want to go anywhere let's have a go again oh like that oh, that's not going anywhere so that's safe as houses there Right now that I have the eight and a half stop on, I have to go and find this remote control. I'm always forgetting where, the, where this remote control is, but you're gonna to have to go in one of the Sony's, you're gonna to have to go into bulb mode because of the long exposure I'm gonna do. So it's eight and a half stops. It's not gonna be four minutes. So one stop down from four minutes is half of that, which is two minutes. The maths you have to do with this thing. Okay, oh, and there's color in the sky as well. Hold on. Okay, right, let's go, let's go quickly. Um, I can't even think. I'm just going, <laughs> I can't even think now. Into bull mode. Go into bull mode. Oh no, I'm not because I'm in bracket mode. I can't go into bull mode. So I don't need the self timer because I have the timer here on the remote control. So into bulb and we will get my phone out because Sony doesn't display the times on it. So you have to record that. The sun is only rising there actually. So up what? It's only up about 10 minutes. So them, them clouds are quite heavy. We're getting nice pinks in the sky. Uh, right, where's the stopwatch here? Stopwatch is there, and we will go. I don't need a timer because I've left, I've left the tripod standing for long enough. So, three, two, one, sync. There we go. Okay, it's gonna do, it, it's gonna do its job. Let me see. Um, so half of, four, half of four minutes is two minutes, and then, so that's one stop down and then I need a half stop which would be a quarter of that so yeah so a quarter of two minutes would be 0.5 which is yes 30 seconds exactly I'm glad some of you are counting along with me um, <laughs> so I only need a minute and a half so 90 seconds so we're at 40 seconds now wow doing Matt's greedy kill sometime in this video so if you need to go get some lunch, go and get some lunch. Um, long exposures, they can be quite boring because you're waiting and you're waiting and you're seeing all this color develop and you're like, is it gonna work? Actually. Okay, so I just stopped just to look around. So the clouds are actually moving this way. It's always a good thing to check what direction the clouds are moving. And I didn't bother. Okay, a minute and 10, another 20 seconds left to go. Oh, we're well past my time, whoops. Stop that. Nice. Oh, the water. Oh, the water has such a lovely look to it. Oh, I really like that. And that was 96 seconds. So that was exactly where I needed to be. Clouds look great. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go again, reset that, and we'll hit a two second timer with us here. Boom. Okay, I'm gonna go for a one minute exposure just so I have the right exposure on the clouds. And I find it, it's like photographing a waterfall. You may just wanna change your settings just a little bit here and there because what you're looking for is not only just to get it in the right exposure, but you're looking for textures. So maybe a longer exposure is what you needed. Maybe a shorter exposure is what you need. And you know, the problem with the difference between a waterfall is usually you're shooting at a quarter second, one fifth of a second. Maybe if it's a fast waterfall, it's one twenty-fifth of a second. So it's quite quick and you can see the results. This, 
a little bit longer. It's gonna, you know, and the longer it goes, you know, the difference the, the light is gonna make. Like, I, I haven't even checked. This video is possibly a little bit overexposed now because I haven't changed the settings in a while. Only a couple of seconds after this minute exposure, and then we'll see what it's like. I'm liking all that color though. Two, one, and click. Right, that's the shoot done. Um, so just have to finish quickly because uh, it is actually private ground. I was talking to the lovely lady. She was coming out in the car and she was speaking to me. Um, but she did say that if you just email into irishlight, I think .ie, you can get permission right up into the tower, which was great. Like, but I had explained I had been here before, shot a sunrise, and you know, just to explain my case that I wasn't here to cause any harm to the land or anything out there. Just wanted to document it, come out here on a beautiful morning. So. I ended up having the crack with her for 15 minutes. Like I said, lovely, lovely woman. Um, but the scene is just, there's, there's no comparing it. Like, it is just stunning. It's a stunning, it's a stunning place. Right at the, right at the mouth of Dublin Bay. Um, so, although I didn't get the sun in it, I already have a photo I got. But I did get a really nice long exposure. So, really happy. This, this has been a great morning. Great morning. Didn't really get spending the time with the lads, but the photo is more important. If I'm totally, totally honest. For me, the the, the photo is always more important. So, going to go and meet the lads now, and uh, I'll have to crack with them. Yeah, so the mirror is on the screen yeah. and it's just reflecting up so and I can see what I'm doing. Your up and it's just like a DSLR. Are you recording? Yeah, kind of. Kind of similar. Like yeah, Richie, so your horrible voice is going to get heard. Where is he? Where is he? Where, where is Hi, Richie? I'm Mark Duffy and welcome to my channel. <laughs> yes, voiceovers are for free. Uh, ring Richie, that's uh, Dick Hogan at, at gmail.com. <laughs> Right, back in the van. That was a fun shoot, that was a fun shoot. Didn't really get chatting with the boys too much, but that's the, that's the nature of it all as well. So I end up taking a lot more photos than what's needed, but you know, with the conditions changing, the light was changing, there was hints of pink. There was, there was so much kind of going on. I would rather take home more than I need. So I ended up shooting an 84 second, a 90 second, a 65 second. Just because I kept forgetting to put the timer on the on the on the phone, it's one of the things I don't like about Sony. There's no reason why I can't show the seconds that have lapsed. You know, the screen goes black. Just just show me the time. I don't. I shouldn't have to bring a phone out to do that. But anyway, no matter. We, we'll get through it. Really impressed with those H and Y Revo rings. The fact that you don't need a step up ring. It fits onto any lens between 67 and 82 millimeters. That is um. That's a godsend. That's that, you, that's so easy. You don't have to screw like having to screw on step up and step down rings in the freezing cold, and is horrible. The aluminium sometimes stick as well. So uh, yeah, the easier the better. All I have to do now is for me to head back home to Dundalk, edit the photos. I hope you liked this. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell to get notified every time I post up a new video. And check me out on all the social medias. You'll find me at, at Mark Duffy Photography. And until the next time, later Gators. <laughs>